Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the makeup tutorial, I just want to say a quick thank you to those who have watched and subscribed and commented and shared my video. I did not expect anything out of this video. I just wanted to make it for my fans and for those who have been asking. I can't even believe I have 200 subscribers. I know like it sounds like I've I'm thanking 2 million people, but I'm just so 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 happy and so thankful for those who have gone out of their way to watch my videos and to support me. Thank you so much. I love you guys. So I've had a lot of recommendations to do um, tags such as what's in my bag, a skincare routine, shopping haul. Please let me know if you are interested in um, a get to know me video. I will try my best to do as many videos and as often as I can. And without further ado, let's get to the makeup tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start with moisturizing our skin. I'm using the Hydrolife from Dior. This is great for combination skin. Um, it's really light and it's not too oily. For primer, I'm using the Pore Professional from Benefit. And yes, I do have an obsession with Papero, guys. It's terrible. I'm going to go and moisturize my lips. For foundation, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever HD. This is one of my favorite foundations, so I definitely recommend it to you guys. Um, I'm just going to dot that all over my face evenly. And of course, bringing it into the neckline, guys. For concealer, I'm using my all-time favorite, which is the Maybelline uh, concealer in the shade 15. Just bringing that on the forehead, along the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and under the eyes. Using a damp beauty blender, just want to. Blend that all in, um, it definitely brightens up your under eye area for those who may have eye bags or are just liking a bit of coloration. So this next step is completely optional. I'm breaking out on my chin and on my forehead, so I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. Just the slightest bit of this and your pimples are gone, so it's great for those who have pimples and breaking out or if it's that time of the month, ladies. Using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm just going to set the concealer and the foundation into my skin. Um, I definitely prefer translucent powder because it is quite light and it doesn't leave you looking cakey. Onto the eyebrows, I'm going to be using the High Definition Brow Kit from Face of Australia. And as I've said before in my previous video, video, I don't normally do my eyebrows that much. I mean, I like them looking quite natural and quite bushy, so I don't put concealer to define them at all. Yeah, natural is better, guys. Using the lighter shade, I'm just going to feather that onto the front of my eyebrows just to give it the illusion of um, thicker hair. And to set that in, I'm going to use the Australis Extender Lash and Brow Gel. This is a clear gel um, as opposed to the MAC Brow Gel that I used in my previous video. Now moving on to the eyes, today I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It smells like chocolate. I'm going to be dipping it into salted caramel and just packing that onto my eyelid. You don't need to be neat with this look guys because it is a lot of blending. So this look is a more natural but smoky look. Um, using a fluffy brush, we're going to go into the same salted caramel shade and concentrate that into the crease just with a backwards and forward motion just to blend it all out. And 
and dragging that same colour just along the lower lash line. Now using the same fluffy brush, we're going to dip it into milk chocolate and just concentrate it on the outer corners of my crease. So this helps intensify the look and give it a more smoky look. And dipping into white chocolate, I'm just going to use that as a highlight for my brow bone. Now going back into salted caramel, I'm just going to be blending both those shades together just to smoothen it out a little more. And dipping my brush into semi-sweet, we're just going to drag that along the outer corner of the eye. Now, using Inglot uh, Shade 51, it is a loose eyeshadow powder. I'm going to spray that with a Max Fix Plus. Um, this does give the colour more pigmentation, so it stands out a lot more. You can use water, there's nothing wrong with that. Just be sure to spray onto the brush rather than in the product itself, guys. Now just curling my lashes and putting some mascara on. I'm using the Benefit Their Real Lashes. This is one of my favourites, but it does dry out quite quick. Now eyelashes is a love and hate relationship with me. It is not friendly at all. I prefer not to wear lashes, but for the sake of this video, I will be wearing lashes. Now I wanted to intensify the look a little more, so I'm going to be adding milk chocolate on the bottom lashes and then dipping it into semi-sweet on the outer corner of my eyes. Now taking an even smaller brush, I'm going to be dipping it into marzipan and this shade will definitely brighten up the inner corners of your eyes where your tear duct is. And it really complements the Inglot shimmer that we put on our eyelids. Okay, so now on to bronzer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cocoa Powder. This is in the shade Deep Tan. Now, I love bronzers because they leave your skin looking healthy and glowy. So, I definitely recommend this shade for those who have fairer skin. And make sure you do drag it into your neckline because you don't want any tan lines. And you don't want your face looking too dark and your neck looking white. And I totally thought I lost my Hula Benefit, but I didn't, so I'm going to be using the Hula Benefit Contour just to contour my cheekbones. I went quite light with the contouring today, I don't know why, I think I just, I think I went too heavy on the eyes as I normally would, so I didn't focus too much on contouring. Contouring my nose. Uh, this is a new brush from Zoeva that I just tried and I thought it was absolutely amazing but I did put too much on my nose so I had to buff that out quite a lot. Okay, for cheeks I'm using the MAC in the shade Melba. Um, I didn't go too heavy with my cheeks again. Um, I wanted to focus more on my eyes. So just a light brush. Make sure you smile. Maybe not too much. And for highlighter, I'm using my favorite Becca highlight. 
um, just onto my highest points of my cheeks, bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. Now for lips, I went quite simple. I'm going to be using my Chanel, um, what is this? Rogue Focus Hilo. This is in the shade 216. It's the most prettiest color ever. It's really smooth to put on, really buttery. I think it's um, a lip balm as well as a gloss and lipstick, like three in one. <laughs> and putting some mascara on my bottom lashes. And we're done! Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I always forget this part. Spray, spray, spray! And the hair? Well, you know me guys, I don't really do my hair much, so... <laughs> High ponytail it is. And voila, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next video. Da. Come in. I think I film. Do <laughs> you uh, it off. What would you call it? That's not attractive.